Have you ever wondered how plants make their own food just by soaking up the sun? Well, it's all thanks to a little green superhero called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is found inside tiny structures called chloroplasts, which live inside some of the cells within a leaf. Not every plant cell has chloroplasts, but the ones in the leaves, they're photosynthesis pros. So what actually happens in these chloroplasts? Chlorophyll captures energy from sunlight. This energy helps water, which comes up from the roots, and carbon dioxide, which drifts in from the air, react together. The result? Plants make carbohydrates, think of these as plant food, and release oxygen, something we all need to breathe. Imagine a whole field of lettuce. It's like a giant carbohydrate factory, with each leaf working hard to turn sunlight into energy. On warm, sunny days, plants can make more carbohydrate than they need right away so they stash some away for later, like a snack for when the sun's not out. Plants store this extra carbohydrate as starch, safely tucked inside the chloroplasts. Want to know if a plant's been photosynthesizing? You can test a leaf for starch. Let's zoom in on a leaf. Most chloroplasts are found in the middle layers of a leaf where the sunlight easily reaches. But photosynthesis needs more than just sun. Water travels through veins in the leaf, and carbon dioxide slips in through tiny holes called stomata. These stomata let gases move in and out, making sure the leaf cells have everything they need. But there's more to plant growth than just sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Plants also need minerals, just like we do. They get these minerals, like magnesium and nitrate, from the soil, absorbed through their roots. Sometimes the soil isn't rich enough, so farmers add fertilizer to boost their crops. More minerals mean bigger plants and higher yields. Basically, more food for everyone. All right, let's see how much you remember. Here's a quick quiz. What is the name of the green pigment that captures sunlight? What are the tiny holes in the leaf called that let gases in and out? What do plants store their extra carbohydrates as? Name one mineral plants need from the soil. Think you got them all right? Check your answers in description below. And remember, every green leaf is a tiny solar-powered factory hard at work every single day. What are the main raw materials, reactants, needed for photosynthesis? Glucose and oxygen. Water and carbon dioxide. Sunlight and chlorophyll. Oxygen and nitrogen. Which pigment captures sunlight energy in plants? Xanthophyll. Chlorophyll. Carotene. Hemoglobin. What is the primary product of photosynthesis that stores energy? Oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Glucose. Water. Which gas is released as a byproduct of photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. Why is photosynthesis essential for life on Earth? It produces carbon dioxide for animals. It creates glucose and oxygen supporting food chains and respiration. It absorbs all greenhouse gases. It prevents soil erosion. Where in the plant cell does photosynthesis occur? Mitochondria. Nucleus. Chloroplasts. Ribosomes. What role does sunlight play in photosynthesis? It breaks down glucose. It provides energy to combine water and co.
It, re it releases oxygen. It cools the plant. Which of these organisms cannot perform photosynthesis? Oak tree. Cyanobacteria. Mushroom. Algae. Where does photosynthesis occur in plant cells? A. Mitochondria. B. Chloroplasts. C. Nucleus. D. Vacuoles. What is the primary role of chlorophyll? Storing starch. Absorbing sunlight energy. Transporting water. Releasing oxygen. Why do plants store carbohydrates as starch? A. To release oxygen at night. B. To use later when sunlight is unavailable. C. To attract pollinators. D. To strengthen cell walls. Which part of the leaf allows carbon dioxide to enter? Veins. Chloroplasts. Stomata. Cuticle. What happens if a plant lacks magnesium? Leaves turn yellow. Roots stop growing. Flowers wilt. Stems become weak. Why is nitrogen important for plants? It helps in water absorption. It is needed to make proteins and chlorophyll. It increases flower fragrance. It protects against pests. How do farmers optimize fertilizer use? By watering plants more. Using GPS and soil tests. Planting more seeds. Removing all weeds.